A question of character. Jill Valentine is the greatest lockpicking star's agent to ever exist. Some may even call her the master of unlocking. Jill unlocks the nightstand. Brilliant. Jill Valentine is part of STARS, or Special Tactics and Rescue Service, of the Raccoon Police Department. Which is ironic because most of the STARS members need rescuing or head reattachment. Jill Valentine is Agent 0823. Jill Valentine has the hair of a brunette goddess, but she also enjoys a good hat as well as a good pistol for good head explosion. Boom. Jill Valentine is a weapons expert. She is issued the standard Beretta pistol, which contains the stopping power of the strongest marshmallow. Jill holds proper posture while using the Beretta, even in the face of imminent danger. Adhering to proper stars battle stance is of the utmost importance to Jill. Jill Valentine will use the shotgun, a weapon that is excellent for surgically removing heads. Jill Valentine will use the bazooka, a deadly grenade launcher that shoots various grenades of the selected grenade, just like your average bazooka. Jill will use the Colt Python. Do you feel lucky, punk? Guess not. Jill Valentine possesses a generous amount of pockets for her supplies. Some may even call her the master of pockets. She can fit up to eight items of various size and weight into her pockets. So when Jill Valentine needs extra grenades to load into her bazooka, she will certainly have space for the grenades, as well as the bazooka. Other magical items Jill Valentine can use are Chess. Jill Valentine has a magical chest. Magical typewriters where she can manifest another version of herself through ribbon ink. Jill wears giant stars issued shoulder pads to assist with her duty, as well as to move giant 500 pound bookcases. The shoulder pads are bolted onto her shirt. Her outfit, pants, shoulder pads, and hat do little to protect her from various hazards or Hazards. This is unfortunate because she has made her residence in an evil mansion. Something of a resident evil. Capcom. Jill Valentine's fatal flaw is that her skin is just entirely too delicious. Some may even call her the master of being tasty. Jill Valentine's skin is an aphrodisiac for the undead. They cannot not live without it. Jill Valentine must shoot the undead to make them dead, but sometimes they are not dead. Therefore, she must shoot them until they are dead. Besides first aid spray, Jill does not consider commercial medicines or antibiotics. Jill Valentine staunchly believes in holistic medicine and herbal treatment. Therefore, Jill Valentine will use various herbs and spices to treat wounds like plant laceration, zombie teeth, chimera slashes. Nothing a good green herb can't cure. Floor zombies hate sharp knives. If Jill Valentine is crushed, she will become a Jill sandwich. It is like any other sandwich except this one has more human remains. Knowing this, her bumbling stars teammate Barry will save her from this fate of becoming Jill Flatbread. It is very strange that he somehow knows each strand of fate that Jill will experience. It is almost like he is a resident evil. Shinji Mikami! It is slightly sad because prior to this, Jill and Barry had a personal relationship. They would do everything together. Kill zombies together. Run together. Barry even gave Jill acid. Jill Valentine will go the mile for her team. She will make sure to use the ammo of her decapitated or decrepit teammates. Jill has no shame in grave robbing. Jill Valentine is adept at using healing serum for team members with exploding capillaries. It may not save them, 
but she will certainly mourn their passing and then grave rob their bullets. He doesn't need them. Jill is an amazing puzzle solver. This is a good thing because the wicked Umbrella Corporation loves a good riddle. However, Jill does not like bees or crows or cerebus dogs or spiders or genetically altered demon sharks. Jill Valentine hates the undead animals. Jill Valentine is an accomplished pianist that can play the Moonlight Sonata, a sacred song historically known to open secret doors. Fortunately, Jill loves playing pianos. Unfortunately, snakes hate pianos. Jill and her team face an ultimate challenge against the evil Umbrella Corporation that has their own evil operating system. She later comes to find that they have lured Jill and her team as guinea pigs for their evil experiment. As well, Wesker, the leader of the STARS group, has turned out to be an evil assistant, shown here in this evil photo, wearing Ray-Bans of evil. Jill Valentine will face the diabolical tyrant, a beast with facial intestines and tentacle arms. And Umbrella has created this monster to be everything except rocket proof. Jill is a more than formidable and capable STARS member. In a world where it takes five seconds to simply turn around, Jill displays outstanding talents. It is a level that the other STARS members would look to envy and obtain if most of them were not already dead. A question of okay. month of terrible characters. Next episode. Jason, you say? Sorry, I don't see the resemblance. Quest with me. Learn with us. Enrich your mind. Empower your inquiry. Like our material. Subscribe to our page. Put character into question. Return every Monday for more. A question of character.